Hi everybody. Today I'm going to read you a story from somebody you may recognize. You guys remember who that is? His name is Pete the Cat. And this story is called Pete the Cat's Groovy Guide to Love. And the authors are Kimberly and James Dean. So this story says right here that is going to give us some tips from a cool cat on how to spread the love. Love is a friendship set to music. Looks like they're sharing the headphones there. A loving heart was better and stronger than wisdom. Ooh, wisdom, what does that word mean? Wisdom is another word for knowledge, knowing things. Love is space and time measured by the heart. Love yourself and everything else falls into line. Hey, I noticed that there's two pizza cats here. Why do you think there's two pizza cats? Mm-hmm, you see something here? I think he's looking into a mirror. And you can see him on this side. Love is the greatest refreshment in life. There's another big word, refreshment. Does anybody know what that means? Here's a clue. Look what Pete has in his hand. It's a drink. A drink can be considered a refreshment. At the touch of love, everyone becomes a poet. When you feel love in your heart, you start thinking about love, talking about love. Love conquers all. Where love is concerned, too much is not even enough. You can never have too much love. Love is the master key which opens the gates to happiness. All you need is love. The best thing to hold on to in life is each other. Let the beauty of what you love be what you do. So you gotta have fun loving what you do and doing what you love and you'll be having fun. Friends show their love in times of trouble. Uh-oh, there's a problem here. What's the problem? Right, Mr. Turtle's upside down on his shell. What do you think Pete's going to do? Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. Look at Mr. Turtle now. Looks like Pete helped him solve his problem. He cared about his friend, so he helped him, and he flipped him over. Choose a job you love, and you'll never have to work.
keep love in your heart. A life without it is like a sunless garden when the flowers are dead. Uh-oh. We already know that flowers need sunlight to live, right? So it says without love, it's like having a sunless garden. That means you don't have any sun. And if you don't have any sun, look what happens to the flowers. Where there is love, there is life. Look at those flowers now. Pete the cat gave them a little bit of love and sunshine, and now they look beautiful. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Uh oh. Look at the window, what happened? Pete's wearing a baseball glove. What do you think happened to the window? Looks like something went through the window. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Courage. What does courage mean? Courage means to be brave, to have the strength, to be strong, to do something. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. The way to know life is to love many things. Let's look at these thought bubbles that Pete has and see what kind of things Pete loves. Oh, Pete loves to do yoga. You guys have been doing some yoga in some of your mindfulness videos. Um, Pete the cat loves to read. Looks like he likes to play baseball. Here's a can of tuna. That must be his favorite thing to eat. I see him playing the guitar here. He must like playing music. Whoa. Pete likes going to the beach. And this right here, this says museum of art. Pete likes going to the museum and seeing art. If you want to be loved, be lovable. That means you got to be nice if you want someone to love you. If you, if you want love, you have to give love too. The first duty of love is to listen. Who is Pete listening to here? The little birdie. The birdie sing, tweet, 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 tweet. May the sun shine all day long. Everything go right and nothing wrong. May those you love bring love back to you. And may all the wishes you wish come true. And that is the end of this story, guys. I hope that you guys are finding ways to show love with your family at home. I miss you guys. See you next time. Bye.